Be a madam general later. Be a friend. Sasha. Now, I want to <coughs> tell the pe tell the people about the objectives first. About the objectives first. The first obje objective of your speech is was to select an appropriate outline which allows listeners to easily follow and understand your speech. As I have read from the manual, there are several types of outlines and you probably, I don't know, deliberately or not deliberately, solve <coughs> so-called problem-solution outline, as I understood you. He told us about the problem that almost everyone wants to do morning exercises, but we are very lazy and you gave us some solutions. Enjoy the process, uh, reward yourself with beautiful dress, whether you're a man or a woman, doesn't matter, <coughs> and uh, you will succeed in doing this morning exercise. So, congratulations with your first objectively successfully achieved. The second ob objective was to make your message clear with supporting material directly cont contributing to that message. Now, by supporting material, we can understand anything ranging from visuals to facts and statistics. And I think that this objective is somewhat weak point of your speech. I think that in your speech we can think that your body language was a sort of supporting material. The thing for you to do, to pay attention to, is next time you can probably give us some personal examples. That there was a person, for example, I was very, very lazy. I dreamt about doing these morning exercises for 10 years. And then I decided that I will buy a dress and suddenly I started doing these exercises and have been doing them for 10 years in a row. So think about buying the dresses and it helps, at least in my case. <coughs> now, the third objective. Use appropriate transitions when moving from one idea to another. I think that the transitions were nicely made because I personally didn't feel any jerkings, any abruptness in the speech. I had this problem first in my second project. But you didn't have it. In front of the third objective, nicely done. And the fourth objective, the final one, is create a strong opening and conclusion. I love your opening. You interact with the audience, make people laugh. It was nicely done. But I didn't like so much your conclusion because in my perception, it was a bit overburdened. First, you repeated all the points, then you tried to motivate us and do that. It's very useful. Develop yourself, and and this motivating part was a bit long. So you perhaps could leave out either not either, but perhaps you shouldn't have repeated your points. <coughs> all in all. Thank you, sorry, for being over time. All in all, I love your speech because you demonstrated that you already can use body language rather effectively. Humor, and I think using humor is a high level skill. <coughs> Interact with the audience, and you did a nice research. And what you to pay attention to is to next time, you know what your problem was, I think, that you tried to put too much theory into the body. If you didn't tell us about five points, or but chose two or three main points and gave us some examples, it would be easier for you to prepare. Perhaps you would be less nervous and it would be more interesting. <coughs> and so pay attention to conclusions. Don't overburden them. And don't do, don't put do too much theory. Better use a little theory and examples. Congratulations on the last